Testing. Hello, everybody. We are back with Persona 5 Strikers. Let us continue the game, shall we? That's right. I should write something. I should write something. Let's get to work. What are you looking for? What are you selling? Are you sure? Are you sure? Come in. Are you sure? Are you sure? Come in. Are you sure? Thank you, Sophie. There's a sale happening. Yeah. How many would you like? You thank you very much. How many would you like? You thanks for your patronage. How many would you like? You want to put it to good use, okay? Thanks, Sophie. Hold on, everyone. All right, we're good. My bad. Just wanted to check my audio. Let's do it to it, boys Everyone and girls. Rules? You, me, and Ryuji are going to destroy the searchlights. No worries there. We'll mess them up quick. As Futaba hacks into the control panel, Haru, Makoto, and I shall protect her. We're not to let a single shadow past us. No worries there either. Okay, you guys are gonna be lifesavers. I swear I'll drop that wall, no matter what. My goal is to lure the initial wave of enemies elsewhere. After losing them elsewhere, I'll return to you. Thanks, Sophia. Don't be too reckless. Got it. I won't be too reckless. <laughs> and the linchpin to this whole operation is... You're gonna be the star of this distraction. Make it as flashy as possible. Time to move out. We're carving a path all the way to Alice's castle. Got it. Let's do it to it. Got the plan down pat, then let's go! Alright. Alright. Yeah, this is the opening cutscene, I can skip this. Hell yeah! Pixie! 
You messed up my combo, you idiot. They got police cars.
Nice. That's cool. have our scent equipped it. Yeah. Thank goodness we made it in time. That couldn't have gone better, Joker. I've returned from my diversion. Hey, great hustle out there, so now the real fight. Let's mop up the rest of the Sounds good. Switch out. Okay, it's your chance. It's showtime. Actually, that's a good idea. I might as well do that. Bareth! Show's over! Stop it in. <laughs> I can't stop my freedom. Nice. Depart. Well, let's take them out then. There we go. <laughs> the searchlights in the area ahead. Those will be a breeze for Jacob. I am <laughs> Fox complimenting himself. Oh, come on. Whoopsie. Give 
So, you're the ones to fight in this kingdom. You will go no further. Once you are dead, her majesty can be at peace. There we got it. Twilight prostitute. Okay. All out attack. Time for the curtain call. Sure. Motherfucker. Must have something to do with the switches and the busts. Maybe there's a correct order. Try focusing. Look for any sort of clue how to approach this. Spade, hearts, sorry, spade, diamond, heart, clover. This is... 
Oh wait, I'm so stupid. <laughs> okay, where does it start? This one, right? Wait, no, they follow this way. There we go. Hey, that did it. Good, let's get up. Are you sure about that, Morgana? Intruders! How dare you! Incoming! We're sur oh, or are we? Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, shoot. up already. There should be a stairwell on the other side of That's about what I expected. In face it, Bill, you'll never reach the Royal Hall. The cost of defying Her Majesty is your hands. Showtime! Let's finish it. Just go dancing. Getting stronger every day. Day. Outside. 
This is where the smell's coming from. You ready for anything, guys? Is this some kind of birdcage? What is this doing here? And where's Alice? She doesn't seem to be here. Hey, hey, look! Is that a treasure? No. I can tell now, this is something completely different from a treasure. <sighs> Everyone, hide! Shadows ahead! What are they doing here? Have you brought all the desires? Yes, sir. It's all of them so far. Desires? More are coming soon. Capture every last one of them, seize their desires, and bring them here. Understood, sir. Hey, those are... Those are desires. Yeah, they're the same as what we saw the other day. Desires here, right? So those jewels are the desires? They looked like they got sucked up into that light. There's no question. That treasure like shimmering up there? That's the desire. That is? We did hear Alice was collecting them. But that was a pile of gems. How come they turned into that shimmery thing? This is just speculation, but. Maybe that up there's the original form of a desire? After all, people's desires don't naturally have a single concrete form. Because we all find our own desires precious. That could be why they look like gems here. When the people had their desires seized by the shadows, they consciously felt them being taken, so the desires took form then. But what turned them back into light? Their desires are still stolen. Maybe Alice is considered their owner now that they're in her birdcage here. Alice doesn't seem to believe they can be stolen back. That's why they turned back into their base form. It does seem to follow logically. At any rate, if we reclaim the desires and release them from this cage, the people may well return to normal. Yeah, it's definitely worth a try. One moment. How does one steal light? That's a great question, Sophie. We use a calling card. A calling card? What is that? <laughs> It's how we make that shimmery light take material form. If we make the owner aware that someone is after their treasure, it takes form. Desires should work the same way. To do it, we send a calling card to our target that says we're going to steal whatever is most precious to you. I got it. I think. I think. <laughs> Are we sure it'll work, though? This isn't a palace with a treasure. Nothing is obtained without action. We must at least try first. True. Now, let's focus on securing our infiltration room. Hell yeah! I'm getting there first! <laughs> no! Are you okay? What was that? I swear Skull ran into some kind of jail cell door. Is there another barrier? Am I... hearing something? Sophie, wait! Just go away. What do you think you're doing looking at the guys like that? She is like such a waste of space, you know? Totally. She's such a loser. It hurts to look at her. <laughs> no. I just... 
The hell was that? You heard it too? A memory hidden by the monarch. Sophie, are you all right? No problem here. Okay, Sophie. <laughs> However, I did figure something out. That memory we heard is the key to the barrier. How's that? This cage is currently locked. You're right. What's that doing there? It will require a key, which we will find in the room those voices came from. It will be some sort of secret room, but we can't find this room here. We need to return to reality for that. Reality? Why is that? The room has been completely isolated. Its entrance exists only in the real world. How'd you know all that? One of your programs or something? I do not know. I merely sense it. Okay, Sophie. Maybe the lock on this cage is somehow linked to a lock in Alice's heart. Mona-chan? If Sophie's right, what we heard just now is a memory of the monarch. That means it's extremely important to her. I have a feeling that memory is acting as the lock on her heart, keeping us from getting past that door. So the lock's an important memory. It's only natural that the key to this place would be hidden somewhere that no one would find. That logic is indeed sound, but how is it possible? This is all just speculation so far. I've never seen anything like this either. This could be another difference between the palaces and this jail. We can't reach the secret room in this world, you said? Correct. We must find the location in reality instead. And that would be... I was not able to detect it. But it should be related to those voices somehow, right? Hmm. I could be wrong, but didn't it sound like someone was getting bullied? Looking at guys like that. Maybe school age? That could be. Brilliant deduction, Panther. I'm just no stranger to hearing that kind of stuff, is all. Panther. If she's right, does that mean the key we need is somewhere in Alice's old school? That would be logical. All right. Let's go do some investigating back in the real world next. We're gonna need a calling card, too. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us. Wow, wow, wow. Where celebs went to high school, easy to find online? It should Usually, be. Usually, yeah. But this time, no hits. Even on the underground sites. Damn. All I'm seeing is fake info from deluded fans. Even if she changed her name, there'd still be traces of that somewhere. Usually. Shit, even you can't find Futaba? This reeks of a serious scrub job. Someone, probably her, intentionally hid her past. This is quite the setback. If we don't discover Alice's alma mater, we'll never find alma a way mater. to that secret room. But isn't it, like, impossible to just erase stuff from the internet on your own? Yeah, you can't. It's gonna be on there. How else could we approach this? What if Mako-chan's sister looks into it for us? She's a prosecutor turned lawyer. Maybe she'll have access to useful intel we couldn't gather ourselves. Oh, that could work. Think it's doable, Makoto? I don't have a problem doing it, but how exactly would I go about asking? That's a great Personal question. Personal information and histories are legally protected, so I doubt she'd readily agree to hand that over to us. Yeah, just asking her to tell us where Alice went to school is not going to fly. I hear you there. I really don't want to wind up on the other side of a table with her getting all, Answer me! Oh, uh, okay. Alice arrived Oh, hello, Sinkichi. How you doing, bud? It's, it's the guy from... The Shady Detective. <laughs> I'm PopSec, not just some cop detect. Wait, I'm not shady. Am I? Am I? Yes, quite. <laughs> These kids are something else. Would you quit saying that kind of stuff with that smile on your face? So what do you want? 
Come on, enough of the cold shoulder. You know I'm trying to help you out. You help us? Yeah. You want to know where Alice Shiragi went to school, right? That's right. But you can't find where that is. And that's exactly how someone wants it. For some reason, there's almost no personal info available on Alice Shiragi. Especially prior to her debut. That is just a big old blank. That's so weird. So, since this is giving you all a hard time, I've swooped in to lend a hand. Intel and Alice would be no sweat for me over in PubSec HQ, so how about it? Want some help? No, we're good. We'll handle it on our own. Yep, just a little more time and I'll get it myself. Great, happy to help. But wait, come on now. This is a real deal connection here. Just be grateful and take the intel. We're sorry, we just have zero trust in the police. Why? We were just about to ask Sai. Say that. Fine. I've got to earn your trust first. I get it. Alice. Your... She attended Kosei High? Hmm? Uh, no, everyone's senpai but yours. Oh! She went to Shujin? Interesting. And don't forget it. Because you owe me one now. Got it? Well, there he goes. It's hard to gauge whether he's friend or foe. More importantly, how did he know where Alice went to school? Could the police already have their eyes on her as well? It's possible. And it would mean that we can trust him. For now, at least. Well, I guess all we can do now is try it. We can find the secret room if we go to Shujin, right? That appears to be correct. Everything should go... And we'll have access. Wow, 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 huh? <laughs> sure. Yeah. With that settled, Let's all head to Shujin now. There's no point in dawdling here. Yeah, Makoto's right. Time to check out Shujin Academy. All righty. Destination. Are we sure this is right? I'm not seeing anything weird. I have no doubt. This place gives me the same sensation as when I touch the birdcage. Think this is what would bring me back here. Hop in and see what's up. I may have graduated from here, but it still feels wrong to go in without permission. Permission granted. I'm still a student here. <laughs> Still, I had no idea Alice Hiragi graduated from Shujin. I didn't either. And I figured a student council president would know better than anyone about celebrity graduates. Perhaps she had a past here that she wished to erase. What do you mean? Those voices we heard in her jail. Those cutting words and that painful cry. I don't know whether she was one of the instigators or the victim of such bullying. However, she experienced it left such a gaping wound in her heart that she refuses to even acknowledge the truth of the matter. And that truth took place right here. So that's why Shujin has a secret room. <sighs> well, we should get moving. What's next? We may not be in Shibuya, but this place is still linked to its jail. Input 
Inputting the proper Emma keyword should permit access as usual. Okay, let's try it. Everybody ready? Yeah, we're ready. Keyword, Wonderland. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. So, it's a classroom? Is this what a school is like? It's rather different than how the internet makes it appear. Cognitive distortion's really strong here. What's going on? Uh, hey, look! Ah, a ghost! Are you seriously crying? Ugh, how pathetic. Trying to get us to go easy on you. You tricked him the same way too, didn't you? No, I... I'd never do that. What? What is this? God, you're disgusting. Seriously! Why are you still alive? Damn! I hate that. Fuck off. <laughs> My skull isn't what thick. What the hell is going on? This thing just flipped out out of nowhere. The room's also changed. No time. Here, look sharp, folks. We should avoid wasting energy on our attacks. Let's read the enemy's movement and respond in time. Let's go. Jack o' lantern. McCoy. Jack o' lantern. Miss Power. Huh? McCoy. Wapo. I can see it. Dun 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 Thank you, Oracle. 
This'll do. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Showtime! Here I go! <laughs> nice! Nice! Hang on! Ooh, those things are Something's up. Whew. 
What was that rumbling? The birdcage in the jail is now unlocked. We will be able to access it. Beautiful. For real? It appears our most recent target held the key. In other words, we defeated the warden guarding the key. <laughs> warden and Alice's memories. A key to the cage in her jail. So a different shadow held the key, not Alice's? What are you going on about? Uh, oh, nothing. I was just thinking how many differences there are from the palaces. Good point. The palaces don't have any rooms like these, or wardens guarding keys in hidden locations. It's as if the more we learn, the messier the situation gets. If it weren't for Sophie, we wouldn't have even made it here. Have I been helpful to the Phantom Thieves? Yes, you have. Mm -hmm. You know it. Praise accepted. Mm. Well, we'll praise you all you want later. We've got a birdcage to bust open. True. We have one last task in the real world first. Let's send Alice the calling card. Take back those desires. Okay, all that's left is send in the calling card. What should it say? We're after the desires that Alice is seizing from the people whose hearts she changed, right? Then don't we have to write something like, We shall take back the desires <laughs> you've seized. Smart. Using the same logic that works on treasures is probably our best shot. Once the desire takes form, we can steal it. If we return the victims their own desires, everyone should return to normal. So... What'll happen to Alice, then? Well, she should be having a change of heart and confessing soon after. Actually, that's not set in stone. What we're stealing this time are the desires that Alice seized from others. This isn't her own desire or ambition. Or like the treasure we found in palaces. There's no way of knowing whether or not Alice's heart will be changed. Even if we rescue her victims, without a change of heart in Alice, this will just turn into a pointless cycle. But if the calling card works, her desire will manifest inside the birdcage. That creates a high probability that we'll encounter Alice's shadow there. We did cause quite a scene destroying the lock. Whether through words or fists, don't we still have the opportunity to change her heart via her shadow? Then let's do it! Let's take her head on! Hell yeah! Oh, uh, sorry. I know that's the dangerous approach, but if you guys are all up for it, I want to rescue Alice too, not just her victims. Alice said she wanted to be a ray of light that could inspire people suffering through life. You mean when she was on TV? I don't know if she really meant all that. Well, I do. I get why she said it, because of all the bullying in her past. I mean... Doesn't it seem like we saw part of Alice's trauma in the secret room? Trauma? It's like an invisible wound in a person's heart. It comes from living through painful experiences. A wound in a heart. Maybe that trauma's the whole reason the jail formed. Trauma distorted Alice's heart, giving birth to the jail. That is very similar to palace generation. I've got to say it's possible. How is that trauma relevant to Alice's current behavior? This is just a hunch, but I think she sees what she's doing as some kind of revenge against the kinds of girls who treated her badly. Stealing someone's dude right in front of her as revenge to Alice? Oh, that's pretty sick. But her shadow's operation is way too massive for that to be all. She just has too many victims already. What if she simply kept escalating because no one was there to stop her? Becoming a monarch must create an awful amount of distortion. All that only makes me want to help Alice more. If her heart's grown that distorted, then I want her to at least remember how it feels being a ray of light for somebody. Is she beyond helping at this point? I don't know. But there has to be someone who at least tries. We can't just abandon Alice. Oh, Lady on. You share a dream? That could 
could be. I just can't believe she was lying when she said that. I'm with you. Let's do it. No objections here, either. However, should we engage her in combat, we must avoid taking her life at all costs. Absolutely. That's out of the question. Best case scenario, just talk her out of it. Guys, do you think I could write the calling card this time? There's something I need to tell her personally. Make it badass. You know it. This is gonna be <laughs> our best one so far. I don't Ready think we're gonna top Shino ever. Ooh, you can help me with the phrasing, Sophia. Awesome. All we gotta figure out now is the delivery. <laughs> I may have a plan for that. This is a special reunion of the Phantom Thieves. We gotta do this right. Yo, we're bonding! No way! We're doing it. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it well. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it well. That night. Uh -oh. In other news, Akira Kanoe, founder of Medif, announced a joint project with one-time rival company, Pineapple. Pineapple? Fired up with anticipation at the news. Awaiting uh -oh. the details. Okay, folks, listen up! <laughs> Good evening. Been a while, huh? Perhaps you remember us. We are the Phantom Thieves. And we're back in action with a new heart in our sights. A wicked witch who treats people like toys. Alice Hiragi. You pretend you're a ray of light, but all you do is hurt people to indulge your own darkness. You're a bad person, and bad people have to be stopped. And all those desires you stole. Tonight, we're taking them all back. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, next I'm scheduled at... Oh, the manager. Hello? Oh, this is bad, Miss Alice. Look at the email I forwarded you. What in the Phantom Thieves? You're taking my desire? All the desires I've collected? No, you can't! I need those! That's what makes me the monarch! I need those to without those. Oh, alright. I'll wait for you. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. I'll smash you for certain this time. Do this. Let's go. Does it play it? I forget. Please play Life Will Change. And we'll bring Yusuke. Not Morgana. Let's go, everyone. Time to change. Let's go. Game. I'm not a robot. I'm not a phantom, I'm in your face and I'm here to see it through Right before your eyes Everyone, 
So you know that we are there Sliding lives in the making More fast without breaking But our life won't change And our voices rain out, yeah Mask up to be free There we go, that's what I was gonna say Coming, Alice. Coming for you, baby. Oh, that is. Ginormous. Why is it so big? At least it actually materialized for us. Thank goodness. Oh, that is a relief. I was worried our standard palace procedures wouldn't work. All right, Skull. Get to home. Oh, no. Look at the size of that thing. What do we do now? I have to steal something like that. I admit, I don't know either. Hello. What's that? It's her. Alice. So, it's a fight after all. Oh, dear. You thought you'd just sneak in like that. And what exactly do you plan on doing with those desires? Hey, you! Joker, right? You come back to me so you could be mine? Hell no! Oh, what a problem! You should try being nicer to girls. No. Alice, you Rocky! Fuck woman. We know all about the horrible things you've done. You seized people's desires by force and turned them into your puppets. You toyed with people's emotions and made them mistreat one another. You even opened up stores so you could build all the people you brainwashed. We can no longer overlook the wicked changes of heart you forced on the people. The phantom thieves are about to beat the distortion out of you. The Kamaki-san, you're so beautiful. There's no way you could understand. You have no clue what I've been through. You mean what happened to you at Shujin? Uh, where did... How? We know all of it. How you were bullied. How it was torture for you. But I still... Oh, okay. You found out. No matter how much I hide it, the past still comes back to me. How pathetic. What a mess. But that doesn't matter now. With this power... I can have everything. Everything I've always wanted. Mine! Uh oh. And now, I'm gonna make you mine. Oh, mine! <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Go. 
Hold on, what's her weaknesses? Shit, that did a lot. Fire, wind, got it. Good thing I brought Morgana and Anne, actually. Morgana's already fucking dead, excuse me. God! I need to be careful around her. Jesus Christ. Alright, showtime. Now's the time to use these. Okay. This. Okay. This. Sorry. Okay. This one. This. Okay. This one. Take this. It's tough, but it's weak to fire. Let me handle this. Got it. Switch out. All right, bitch. Why are you being like this? I was trying 
able to find some happiness. Are you here to take everything I have, just like she did? Just try me. Oh shit. She's feral. Oh, she does. Absolutely. I'll break you. Don't break me, please. I do not consent, and I am a minor. Oh, fuck, she's Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> You done? We good? This one. Okay. This one. Come. Are you okay? McCoy. Wapo. McCoy. Jacqueline. Pixie. Succubus. Pixie. With this. Take this. Let's go. Fuck not again. Go ahead, Morgana. Yes, go ahead. Let's go. All right, 
Alright, that's it. Thank you. That's it, you're done. You're dead. Oh. Okay. No. How can I still not be strong enough? Enough, Al. If you keep going. How would you know? You both suffered. Oh, I just can't compare to someone like you, Takamaki-san. All my life, I'm no match for the real winners. Uh. And I tried so hard to change. But I was still made fun of. Still bullied. I just wanted to stop me. Miserable. I poured my heart into you. You turned into one to girl. So far. But then she showed up again. She started running her mouth about my past. She told everyone what a pathetic little shit I was. <sighs> That's why I took all of it from her. Her boyfriend, her social circle, everything. And that still wasn't enough for me. It wasn't just her. Everyone that talked behind my back, all the people who just stood there when I was kidding, I'll destroy every single one of them. Alice. So this is a wound in a heart. Oh, this power lets me get revenge. So I... You became the bully, right? You idiot. What good does that do? You're just as bad as the people who made you suffer. Is that True. how you want to live? Like one of those bullies? Didn't you want to be something else? A ray of light for others. And for yourself. <sighs> Don't give up because of those selfish bastards! Uh, the Kamaki san. You're right. I wanted to rescue them. All the people like me, going through the same thing. But I... Tone. Yes, I will. Son, I, I want to apologize to the people I hurt and start over. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you can turn it around. But thanks to my best friend and the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand up for myself and do the right thing. You're never alone. Once you're back to your real self, let's be friends, okay? You want to be... Really? Uh-huh. I mean, I totally love that. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> I'll go back now. This time. All right, we'll finish up the rest of that arc next time. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and take care. Peace.